we want to get the right kind of cases in because that's where we're going to be the most efficient. It's where we're going to be the most effective, have the best outcomes, and typically have the best margin as well. And so some of the most common mistakes that I see law firms make is just bidding on generic keywords like law firm near me, right? Well, when someone hops on Google and searches for a law firm near them, we don't know what area of law they're looking for, right? And so they might be looking for a, a DUI attorney, a slip and fall, or a criminal defense, or uh, some sort of tort or whatever, and we don't know at that point. And so does that mean it's a bad keyword to bid on? And an answer to that question totally depends on the type of your law firm and your budget. Right? So let's just imagine that I'm a personal injury law firm um, and I have a limited budget. It makes zero sense to bid on those types of words, right? Because I only, it's gonna be hard enough, I'm, I'm only gonna capture a piece of them of people specifically looking for what I do anyway. So why did I loop my budget in targeting people that may or may not even be the right fit for me anyway? Right. Now, if I'm, a, if I'm a large law firm with a lot of partners and specialties and things that, yeah, we'll, we'll kind of take anything that comes to us and we've got a larger budget, then that actually may make sense to put on some more of those generic words because, hey, we're probably going to have a solution for them either way. And law firm near me could be a lot less expensive than, you know, accident attorney right. uh, from, a co from a cost per click or uh, the advertising cost. So it does depend, but generally speaking, what we see with the law firms that we work with is limited budgets and typically specialty driven. And because of that, it is better to maximize your budget on getting the specialty leads that you want. And once you've tapped into that, then it might make sense to expand a little bit more uh, and consider targeting some more of those generic terms. Gotcha, so the, the biggest thing for these law firms is the word focus, focusing on the right keywords uh, to get the kinds of cases you want because everyone has a limited budget. So that's at, at least where they should start. Now, take it one step further here. I've seen in a, um, an article you wrote, you, you're running into lawyers who kind of Google searches that they think would um, apply to their industry and they might, uh, but they're, they're, they're not showing that the person actually needs a lawyer. So the, a good example is the word car accident versus car accident lawyer. I guarantee you right now, if you and I uh, Googled car accident, um, I'm in Oklahoma City, you're in Utah, I guarantee you someone's ad would be there. Some lawyer's ad would be there on car accident. Um, but kind of walk us through that buying intent and that second filter a lawyer should go through when they're selecting their keywords. And, and it's really, you, you phrased it perfectly, the intent behind the query or what they actually type into Google it can make all the difference. Again, because we're operating on limited budgets, so why not spend it on the people that are most likely to actually buy and to work with us? And uh, conversely, where we see a lot of attorneys actually waste a lot of their budget is they'll bid on a word like car accident, and then their ads show up for things like anything related to car accidents. Sometimes they'll even bid on car accident attorney but because they don't set it up right, now all of a sudden their ads show up if someone's looking for car accident attorney salaries. Right. Right, or those types of things. And so that's where not only is it important to understand the buyer intent, it's also important to restrict what your ads will show for, show for and not to be too broad with that. Otherwise you'll get, you know, there's a list of common negative keywords that we would add to any account that, hey, let's remove jobs or salaries or whatever because now we're just paying for people that aren't going to be perspective and look at that. And so those are the things that, you know, that, that we're considering. And again, because there's limited budgets, we want to focus where the intent is the highest first and then start to experiment a little bit outside of that. But to, but to be honest, most, most law firms never get past that stage um, because uh, you know, it's challenging to get new, uh, you know, get a lot of people on board and, and to handle that. And it takes time to build the practice and, and the personnel there. And, you know, it's a pretty decent sized market and there's, there's quite a bit to be had. And most, I don't see very many uh, law firms getting to the point of saturation in their specialty area for right. two reasons. One, scaling uh, a practice does take a little bit of time. And two, 
uh, because they get too generic too early, they're not getting the return they need on that budget to cost effectively grow their practice as well. Yeah, and it's it's um it's one thing for us to sit here and talk about it in theory, but it's another thing to watch what happens to a lot of these law firms. Everyone knows, like we talked about at the top of the show, people are going to Google to search for a lawyer. Every lawyer in this town does searches themselves and they see their competitors running ads for a long time. So they think, yeah, this must work. And then they try it themselves and they don't lock down their keywords to the buyer intent, to the focus on their, their what they offer. And they blow through thousands and thousands of dollars very quickly and they give up. And it's one thing yep. to waste that money, but the opportunity cost of all that traffic uh, that they're giving up on is kind of sad to see.